another week another episode of don't toy with me miss nagatoro and you know every week i'm always looking forward to seeing how nagatoro is going to just mess with senpai so let's go ahead and jump into it we're starting off early oh is he immune to nagatoro's teasing right now yo look at her in the background bro they're they're, they're starting off the episode already like with her a peak craziness yo the physics on that it definitely defied the laws of physics and i gotta tell you i don't know i don't know if senpai is doing this on purpose knowing that if he if he goes with the other two girls nagatoro is gonna get jealous but it was a dream damn it it was a dream oh that i mean there you go there you go. It's, it's this little moments that, that, you know, the reason why I like this anime so much. These little moments where both characters kind of realize that they care about each other. She's going to tickle him. We're going to find out if he's actually going to make those funny noises or not. <laughs> Is that him screaming like that? She's inviting him to tickle her, and I don't think he's going to do it. Mm, we'll see about that. Let, let's see if he's actually going to do it. Oh, no. Don't do that. That's too much. She's definitely teasing him way too much with this one. Oh, the swimsuit. The swimsuit again. Okay. He's not going to do it. It's too much for him. He's, he, he won't be able to handle it. That, that's not how it's gonna go that's not how it's gonna go why the armpit though there's, there's so much tension being built right now <laughs> of course I knew it there was no way that's a weird video to be showing somebody right don't tell me don't tell me she's going to shave him and, and make him go bald. Please don't tell me she's going to do that. Oh, she's not going to do it. <laughs> Is that supposed to be senpai? Yo, don't do it. Yo, don't let her near your hair, my guy. That's a mistake. Who has a pair of clippers in their bag? Like she was definitely planning this out. Dude, that, <laughs> I got to tell you, the wording on that one was a little too much. What if she's actually a really good stylist and just gives him like the best haircut ever? I just don't know if I trust her, though. I don't know if I would trust her with my hair. It's going to be a lot more than a trim, I'm telling you. I, I just don't trust her. Ooh, saved. Saved 100%. See, I think that whole scene was important because, oh no. See, she was just willing to like ignore her two friends or whatever and just spend the rest of the day with Senpai. I don't, I don't like these two girls. They're always messing with him and, and, and not in a way that he kind of, like not in the way that Nagatoro messed with him. Like they actually tried to like bully the crap out of him. Yo, they better not. Yo, that would look so ugly on him. They better not. See, that's taking it too far. Nagatoro stopped. Nagatoro stopped. And I don't know how good she is at cutting hair. She has a lot of materials to cut hair at home. So maybe she does practice. But these two are just horrible. Yeah, I feel like she's going to put them in their place. She ain't playing around. Nagatoro needs to come in right now. Oh, look at that. He's fighting back because he really wants Nagatoro to do it. Yo, she's, yo, I, she's not, she's not, no way. She's going to go ham, I'm sure. I think they're taking it way too far and she's going to put them in their place. Yo, look at that dark aura. I'm telling you, you don't want to mess with Nagatoro. Yeah, they're, they're scared of her for sure. You don't wanna you don't wanna mess with her senpai, I'm telling you. Oh, he didn't get the haircut though. Oh, okay. I was about to say, I thought they were gonna cut to the next scene. Look, it seems like she's very good at it. They're having a little moment. 
I think it looks exactly the same. Yeah, I think they had a great moment right there. <laughs> the crazy look she has. <laughs> I love it. Wow, they're really going with the whole sheep thing. To see if they can tell the difference. Wow. Thanks, Senpai. Huh. With that title, I wonder if Senpai is going to do something for her. Shaved ice. That sounds, that sounds good on a, on a hot day. So is this going to be their first little date? Ooh, there's a huge line. Of course. I mean, if it's really hot outside and people really want, you know, something cold, this is the perfect place. She really wants that shaved ice. They're holding hands. They're holding hands in a way, right? Oh, Nagatoro. She, yeah, I will be scared too. I feel like she's using this as an excuse to spend more time with Senpai, right? Like if they have to wait in a long line, I wouldn't wait in. I don't care how good it is. I would not be waiting in that line. Oh, no. They're being perverts. Oh, is Senpai about to do something about this? That was, that was a solid move, Senpai. That was a solid move. Honestly, I thought he was going to put his hand around her or something. <laughs> she, she's crazy. She's hallucinating. It must be really hot out there. Oh, would you look at that? He took her hand. He definitely needs to hydrate and he noticed that. Yep. Yep. That's a fact. And you definitely don't want to get a heat stroke. She's, she's all back. She's back to her old self. Nope, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> See, I feel like this episode is very different from the previous ones, right? Like, she's not teasing him as much. They're actually kind of spending some time together, kind of like treating each other. Very, very nice, I would say. And look, she even got some, uh, some st store-bought uh, shaped eyes, right? Or is that ice cream? <laughs> the little cat. The little cat transition. Love it. Ooh, she's gonna feed him. I think that's like an extra step. Summer break. How long is that gonna be in Japan? Is it like a couple of weeks? The newest last quest. So he's got a little, you know, a little plan. That's what I would do in, when I was taking breaks from school. I would play a lot of games. An indirect kiss. An indirect kiss. I know that's a thing in Japan, right? Indirect kissing. <laughs> Oh, this is a big step. This is a big step. I got a loner's ID. Oh my. Nagatoro. She's still teasing him a little bit, but I feel like this episode is definitely not as much as before. Oh, is he actually got you know starting to feel something for her? Is he starting to realize that he has feelings for her now? To her favorites. <laughs> I feel like they're gonna have a great summer together. I've, they're definitely going to see each other in the summer. No doubt about it. He hasn't taken a drink from that. I'm guessing he's thinking what I was saying earlier. Like the whole indirect kiss. <laughs> I've seen a lot of, you know, animes and Japanese TV shows where they're kind of, you know, the whole indirect kiss thing is uh, kind of like a big deal. I, I have a feeling Nagatoro is actually watching it. <laughs> she knew she knew 100 percent that she, he was gonna be thinking about that oh there she is <laughs> oh she can read him like a book she just keeps text, texting him now that. that's funny a little sound effect i gotta you gotta love it you gotta love it oh this episode was perfect Episode 5 of Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro. Uh, you know, I really love this episode. This is probably my favorite episode of this anime so far. Uh, I love how essentially this episode to me, it felt like Nagatoro definitely took a step back. And it's not really teasing Senpai as much as she used to. Like, yeah, the teasing is still there. But I, I, I definitely see like she's kind of flirting with him a little bit more than, than actually just teasing, right? I mean, we had a lot of great moments, especially with the first half where the other two girls were definitely messing with senpai i mean you, you see the difference between what nagatoro is doing and what the other two girls are doing right like yeah nagatoro she really wanted to cut senpai's hair but she kind of wanted to use that as a moment for them to kind of be close to each other for like a reason to like touch his hair or whatever the case may be right like maybe she wanted to flirt with him that way give him a genuine good haircut while the other two were in the extreme side of bullying they really wanted to cut off all his hair with 
the with the clippers and that that's just like the extreme right like that's definitely not acceptable i'm glad that nagatoro stepped in and i gotta tell you there's gonna be one of those episodes where nagatoro is 100 gonna flip out on those two girls and be like yo you don't mess with him period like we're not playing any games we saw the dark aura that she had she was about to turn super saiyan she's not playing any games when it comes to senpai like people better not mess with him or they're gonna have to deal with nagatoro and we know she's so smart she knows how to like essentially she, like her psychological level is is overpowered at this point she definitely knows how to mess with people she definitely knows how to get into people's heads as we saw with the other two guys that she was messing with a little bit like she literally just destroyed them and you know we see that senpai he's actually able to withstand all those psychological attacks if you want to call them something right so i feel like this episode just did a great job at kind of increasing the relationship between uh, nagatoro and senpai i mean it's absolutely great they definitely had a lot of their moments especially in the second half in the second half they exchange numbers they're going into summer break and I, i'm telling you there's no way that nagatoro is gonna just let senpai you know have a great summer break by himself no way she's definitely gonna call him she's definitely going to set some things up and i gotta tell you i hope that senpai at the very least he takes the initiative and kind of invites nagatoro out somewhere on a little date because i think they had their first date today not gonna lie like them going to get that shaved uh ice and all that stuff i feel like that was a great uh little little date that they had like the first little date it was great on both sides we see that you know of course senpai is worried about nagatoro she she was i mean whenever she was sweating and you could see her bra and the other two perverts behind her were kind of looking at it and smirking and you know senpai was like yo that's not acceptable and he stood behind her to cover her up absolutely great i mean again i feel like senpai is definitely protective of nagatoro and vice versa so again this episode just did a great job at showing how close both of these characters are getting and i'm 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 all in i'm loving it i cannot wait for them to have like i'm sure they're gonna kiss i'm sure they're gonna you know be together i'm sure they're gonna be boyfriend and girlfriend they're definitely leading up to that and i cannot wait to see it i mean i, I really love the little relationship that they're creating it seems like something very special i've been saying since you know episode like two maybe episode three that both of these characters they're like in their own little world in their own little bubble and that nobody can come in right it's only for them and them two alone and, and it's kind of beautiful i like it i can't wait to see what episode six is going to bring to the table it's really funny i love every single second of this anime i cannot wait for more but let me know in the comments what you thought of this episode and like always make sure to leave a like subscribe and i will see you on the next episode